writer Marina Luica, adapter Tanaka Gupta, director Mark Babich, designer Patrick Connell, and reviewer Ron Simpson. The world premiere of Tanaka Gupta's adaptation of Marina Luica's novel, A Short History of Tractors in Ukrainian, has much to recommend it. Even before the start, Patrick Connell and said, What's the appetite for the play to come? With a heron's large open stage filled with a mighty tree, scattered furniture, a scruffy kitchen, and piles of luggage. Mark Babbage directs an imaginatively quirky production with a sure touch, and the ensemble of eight capably switches mood and character. Given the challenge of creating a play from a sizable novel with a shifting plot, Gupta ingeniously crams a lot in, maybe she crams too much in. And surely the novel was funnier. Luica's novel, a major success in 2005, revolves around the unlikely marriage of convenience, or, at times, inconvenience between octogenarian widower Nikolai, Ukrainian, but a longtime British citizen, and Ukrainian gold digger, Valentina, apparently divorced, seeking legality for her entry into the United Kingdom, a high-class education for her son, and anything else she can get money for. Is Valentina subjects Nikolai to physical and emotional abuse? His feelings for her range from hatred and terror to his default position of total infatuation, and much of the fun of the book, for it is fun, despite some of the horrors suffered by poor Nikolai, derives from the shocked reactions of his daughters, previously not on speaking terms, and their attempts to remove Valentina. Narration in the novel is by Nadezhda, the younger daughter. Gupta switches to Nikolai's dead wife, Ludmilla, and in some ways, it proves an inspired idea. Ludmilla shows us life in Ukraine for her, and Nikolai and the previous generation, so a long evening can kick off buoyantly with the dancing at her parents' wedding. The story of the wartime sufferings of Nikolai, Ludmilla and elder daughter Vera is powerfully told, but ultimately seems in the wrong play, this isn't a short history of Ukraine. The same feeling occurs when Gupta, well aware that the recent history of Ukraine gives Valentina even more reason to escape than she had in 2005, shoehorns in an explanation of the political problems there, improbably delivered to two Ukrainians. Babich's production makes great play with cartoon features, notably characters bobbing up out of chests and suitcases, and the question is always how seriously to take the production. In the novel, Valentina is dangerously close to a grotesque, her character defined by greed and enormous breasts, and the adaptation does nothing to dissipate that, though Anna Marija Spasjavik, in her first major stage role, is nothing if not striking. Ruth Lass's Nadezhda, on the hand, wrestling with real of problems, is earnestly convincing on Hillary Tones, all elegant self-indulgence at the start, effectively deepens her performance as Vera as the evening progresses. If the amount of time given to Ludmilla's remembrances rather skews the evening, at least Polly Frame delivers them beautifully. And Jeffrey Beavers is perfect as Nikolai, engineer, and poet, equally believable as a pathetic whimpering incontinent, and a frisky old geezer up for a bit of mischief. He reads his verse history of tractors with point and elegance, and even returns in brief flashback to the jauntiness of youth. Runs until 14 October 2017 Image contributed the short history of tractors in Ukrainian, Hall Truck Theater writer Marina Luica adapter Tanaka Gupta director Mark Babich designer Patrick Connell and reviewer Ron Simpson The world premiere of Tanaka Gupta's adaptation of Marina Luica's novel, A Short History of Tractors in Ukrainian, has much to recommend it. Even before the start, Patrick Connell and said what's the appetite for the play to come? with a heron's large open stage filled with a mighty tree, scattered furniture, a scruffy kitchen and piles of luggage. Mark Babich directs an imaginatively quirky production with a sure touch, and the ensemble of eight capably switches mood and character. Given the challenge of creating a hillop, 